Namaste guys, Rajesh here for Namaste Tech and in this video I am going to show you how you can use the secure folder feature on your Galaxy A50s, Galaxy A30s to lock and hide secure applications and files. The secure folder feature in the Galaxy A30s and Galaxy A50s works a bit differently compared to other phones. While yes, it does let you hide applications and files and also protect them using a fingerprint scanner, password or PIN, the execution from Samsung is a bit different compared to what you will find on phones from Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, etc. So without further ado, here's how to use the secure folder feature on your Galaxy A50s and A30s. But before I get started with the video though, if you're coming to our channel for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and also click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of all our future videos. So first on your Galaxy A30 or A50s, head over to settings, biometrics and security. You'll see the secure folder option here. Tap on it. Press the agree button to confirm to the terms and conditions of the feature. After that, if you have not already, you must sign into your Samsung account. There's no two way around it and you have to log into your Samsung account to use the secure folder feature. Once you are done signing in, secure folder will set itself up, wait for a minute or two as once this process is completed, you will automatically get a prompt to set up a pin password pattern for the secure folder. I'll stick to the pattern option here and you also have the option of enabling fingerprint lock for secure folder. If you enable it, make sure that you have already enrolled your fingerprint on the Galaxy A30s or A50s. For now, I'll just stick to the pattern option here. Now proceed to draw an unlock pattern or if you select a pin or password, make sure to set that up. But whatever you use, make sure that it's different from the lock screen password or pattern of your phone. This is important as otherwise you will compromise on the security of the secure folder. Once you are done setting up the password, you are now ready to use secure folder on your Galaxy A50s or A30s. By default, a few of the system applications will already be present inside secure folder. You can add your own set of applications or files to secure folder by tapping the add apps or add files button at the bottom. I'll select the add apps option and then select say Asphalt 9 from the list and uh, Google Drive and proceed to add them to secure folder. Now what happens here is that secure folder is not going to lock and hide the installed version of the applications that I have selected on my Galaxy A30s or A50s. Instead, it is going to create a secondary copy of that same application and then lock it. So suppose if you have already played Asphalt 9 and another few levels in and everything and then you create its copy in secure folder and then when you start the secure folder copy, it will start from scratch. You'll have to set up the game again, sync it with your Google account so as to sync your progress. This copy of Asphalt 9 and the one that's installed on my phone and on the home screen, they are both different. The same is also applicable for all other applications that I've selected here, say Google Drive, Swift Key, or Temple Run 2. You can see here that this copy of Temple Run 2 on my home screen is different from the copy of Temple Run 2 that I have inside the secure folder. This one is starting up from scratch as it's downloading the configuration file and it's even asking me to install Google Play games which is already installed on my phone. So suppose if you copy WhatsApp to secure folder, you'll have to first set up the secure folder copy of WhatsApp, sign into it again. That copy of WhatsApp will be different from the that's installed on your home screen. Well, to lock secure folder, you have to tap the three dot overflow menu button and select the lock option. One important thing to note about secure folder is that by default, you are not going to get any notifications from applications inside the secure folder. For that, you'll have to go into secure folder settings, notifications and data, and then enable the show content option. This will ensure that you get notifications from secure folder apps on the notification panel. The content of the notification will be hidden though you have an option of toggling this feature off. Once you are done setting up and bringing all your apps to secure folder, you can tap this three dot overflow menu button and select the lock button. This will make you exit the secure folder and then whenever you try to access it, you will first have to draw the unlock pattern, enter the pin, password, or you can verify your identity using the fingerprint scanner. It is only after entering the correct password pin pattern that you will be able to access secure folder on a Galaxy A30s or Galaxy A50s. Now, since secure folder creates a dual copy of all applications, you can use it to create a secondary copy of WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, or just about any other application. 
Since the Galaxy A50s and A30s have dual SIM functionality, this feature might come in handy for a lot of people. To access secure folder, go to the app drawer of your Galaxy phone and then select the secure folder option. Remember that you'll have to lock secure folder every single time after you exit it. Once unlocked, secure folder is only locked when you lock your phone. So now that I've locked my phone and now when I try to access secure folder, you can see that it is locked despite me not locking it manually in the last time around. Now since the secure folder copy of any application is different from the one on your home screen, you can independently uninstall any of them. So if I want, I can uninstall Temple Run 2 from here, the one on my home screen. And now when I access secure folder, you can see that the copy inside it is still there. This way, I can use secure folder to hide applications. To uninstall any application from secure folder, simply long press on it and select the uninstall option. So that's about it for this video guys. I hope this video makes it clear as to how you can use secure folder on your Galaxy A30s or Galaxy A50s to lock and hide applications. And to also run dual copies of WhatsApp Messenger or any other application that you want. In case you like this video guys, please don't forget to hit that like button below and make sure to subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.